We interrupt this broadcast to bring you urgent news issued by the SCP Foundation. My name is James Baxter, and this is Channel 19 News. Today, an important warning has been issued by the SCP Foundation. For those in the UK region, there are reports of as many as five containment breaches in the SCP facility. In York, including creatures such as SCP-106, which has now been confirmed as the prime suspect in the disappearance of a young boy, Adam Fogg. He was last seen in the Greenway Forest over three months ago. If you live in the northeast region of England, it has been advised that you stay at home or in crowded areas. If possible, minimize time spent alone. In case you were unaware, SCP-106 is a dangerous life form capable of teleporting through different realities. The black substance is left behind, leaving circles of decay in the vicinity. If any suspicious looking substances are found in your area, please report them immediately to your SCP advisor. Other SCPs are the that are reportedly out of containment are SCP-1096, SCP-049, and multiple instances of SCP-939 although it has been unclear as to whether these creatures have escaped the f facility and reached the general public. SCP-173 has also reportedly broken containment again after it was recontained in October. However, reports say that the military response team, Nine-Tailed Fox, have apprehended the creature and are in the process of recontaining it. For more coverage on whether your region is likely to be affected by this outbreak, we go to our weather consultant, Andrew Dumont, for a circumstantial weather report. Thank you, James. As you can see here, this map shows the risk you may be facing in general areas. Those, e those in the northeast region of England and the north of Scotland should take great caution in the near future. Those in the amber regions should stay aware of the ha hazard and minimise risky scenarios, including those in the west of Wales. The yellow region has been officially classified by the SCP Foundation as potentially hazardous. Awareness of possible threats should be taken in these areas. I must empathise the importance of reporting any suspicious activity to your local SCP advisor. Although these are the official levels of threat as labelled by the SCP Foundation, it is strongly recommended that all UK citizens keep a watchful eye for threatening activity until the situation is resolved. Thank you, Andrew, and we'll keep you updated on the story as it develops. Thank you very much. This has been Channel 19.